be excited. This, this is an unbelievable unit. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know, but it looks cool. It looks cool. You see this? Look at that awesome sunset. Hey YouTube Universe, look at this. We got some snow last night. It is still coming down. Still coming down. On Chester. Luckily, Chester is tall, but look at how deep the snow is. And Chester, he's like a big kid. He loves the snow. He loves running in it, playing in it, eating it. Everything about the snow. Should have been a snow dog. Chester, you snow dog? He eats snowballs. He loves it. How heavy the snow is. This tree cracked right there. That's how heavy the snow was. Then look at, there's another tree branch down. Because of the snow. Wow. Look at me. Chester. Hey YouTube Universe, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba Auctioneer Extraordinaire here with Second Sense Auctions. And man, we got so much more to go through. All this stuff from the doctor's unit. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell, get all your notifications. Don't want to miss a thing. Also, check out all the past videos. Tons and tons of great videos. And best thing, stuff that you see. You can actually buy the stuff. www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. Very silent, Shane. Yes. We got some snow coming in today, Shane. We're gonna start off over here. Cause look at a little snow came in through a little crack in the building right by the front. So we're gonna get it out of there before anything gets ruined. Ooh. What's that? That looks like sterling silver almost. So I'm trying to see if there's a mark on the edge here. But why else would you what were would these be for? So this looks like sterling silver right off the rip chain. It's a good start. It's a good start. There could be four pieces here. I don't know what they're for. Let's see what we can find in here. Some glass. Oh wow, look at that. Nice statue. Did I say $225? That's what it says. All right. Well, we just found a $225 statue. So what else could be in here? Oh my gosh. It's too bad. Look at it. It's been broken. Multiple places. Maybe another $200 statue. And this one looks like it might have been broken, or that could have been a spot they had a. I'm not sure. Not sure, Mr. Chisholm. Oh my gosh, this is all going to be statues, it looks like. Very strange. Look at all this. I have to do some research on this. Golf Shores or something like this. Pack stack. Another one. $125. Take like a vase, see that? It's pretty cool. Let's 
detail work now. So I'm assuming all of this is just going to be more of these pieces. Oh my gosh, look at that. $200. It's a $1,000 tote. And if we could get, even if we get a hundred, hundred, hundred. Oh, this one's broke. Hundred right there. It's going to add up quick. It's another one of these pieces. So I'm going to have to do some research on these. This whole tote is just filled with them. Wow, look at this one. It's got color in it. Like these are things you're looking for to see if they're broke. It does look like a few pieces here, but 80 bucks. Let's get a stand here. I don't know. Maybe like something like this when you go on this, you know? Wow. So, you know. Whew. All these could be, like Shane said, I mean, this could be a thousand dollar box easily. Easily. And it just keeps going and go. I mean, there's gotta be at least another 10 pieces in here. So definitely some nice pieces of porcelain. <clears throat> Take out another one or two of these. I just gotta wrap it all back up. This will be going in sale in January. We're gonna try to get as much as we can in January, but we'll get it all sold by January and February. Might not all get in January. It's gonna be tough. It's not a shame. Lots of stuff. Lots well, of good stuff. Another one of them. Definitely some cool pieces. Our first tote, we're pulling out items, $80 price tags, $225 price tags, $200 price tags, and the whole tote is filled. We got all these boxes still to go. Let's see what else we can find. Let me wrap this stuff up before any of it gets broken. I don't want anything to break. Money, 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 money. I can't wait to see what we find next. So let's see what we got in here. Ooh, look at that. We got the Hobbit. Frodo. It's on cassette tape. Bring out my old cassette player, listen to the Hobbit on my Walkman. Looks like we got a little bunny in here. Some pots and pans, but like I said these units, you gotta look through everything because I mean we found Baccarat Crystal last episode. This is one of those little wood puzzles. Made in Japan. I'm not even gonna try to mess with it. College cookery. You use this to make a grilled cheese sandwich. <clears throat> Trust me. Ooh, look at this. Just said we got a bunch of cups. And we got some plates in here. But I think these cups go with that. Yeah, see. So we got the Kingsley Lennox. We found some other of this. So we probably have a whole set if we go through the whole entire, all the stuff, we'll find it all. We got a bunch of this. Look at this. Oh, it's all filthy, dirty right there. But there's all these vintage Santa Clauses and stuff in there. I just don't know why it's so nasty, dirty. Yeah. They have Shane clean that out right there. That'd be fun. It'll be fun. And these, look at these. So that probably goes to this set right here, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of teacups in here, it looks like. So, well, at least the saucers. Maybe the cups. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. Look at this. Girl Scouts, right there. So this is a little food container right here. It's got your bowls and plates and forks, probably everything in there. Oh, wow. What's that? Oh, wow. And these people, we found fossils, some awesome. Look at that. That is a nice piece right there. Just look at the shine on there. Looks like pirate, maybe. And that's inside, you know, that's what I'm telling you, people. No rhyme, no reason. I mean, this is inside a pot right here. We got that and the Girl Scout thing. What else is down here? Is this an army bag or something? Is it a jig? Yeah, it's a military duffel bag. Huh. 
metal wire. Then it's just cups and saucers. And what's this? Ooh. Piece of ruby glass there. A little pitcher. It's definitely well made. It's not Avon or anything. So, not a bad box. Let's check a look at this box. I mean, you find good stuff like that in pots and pans. You gotta be excited. This, this is an unbelievable unit. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know, but it looks cool. It looks cool. You see this? Oh, look at this box. It's like made in China there. But that's old. It's got the brass edges. What do you think's in here, Shane? I have no clue. <clears throat> yeah, I know what's in here, I think. Just because I sold something similar multiple times in my life. Let's see if I can get it open first. So I don't think it's jewelry. Don't think it's jewelry, huh? It's old. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. I don't want to break it. Thought maybe this slides across. Maybe this slides. Oh, there it is. Figured it out. Ready? Ta da! Alright. Oh, you want to know what's in the drawers? You want to know what's in the drawers? Well, this is, I believe, Mong Zhong set, which is a game. Let's find out. Look at That's what it is Mong Zhong. And this is a good set right here. See that? You know what this is made of? It's a bamboo. That's correct. Bamboo's on the top, and this is either bone or ivory. This is a nice old set here. <clears throat> and some of these sets can be worth hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. Depends on the ornateness, how many pieces there are. And the number of pieces is a big deal. This one appears complete to me. I haven't played Mong Zhong. What's in this bottom one? It's always got to be that one drawer. It's got to be difficult. Man. Oh, there it is. Yep. There's all those little pieces there. I never found the book before, so that's pretty interesting. Let's see if there's a date in the book. Long Chan, trust me, Long Zhong. And does this say 1923? 1923? Oh, wow. That changes everything a little bit, huh, Shane? It's older than me. Did you think it was that old? No. Because you saw it made in China, right? This is old China right here. So this set here, look them up, ladies and gentlemen. Long Zhong sets, tile. What else could be in here? Looks like we got a little. It is cold today, huh, Shane? It's beautiful out. Little Christmas blanket here, stay warm. Oh yeah. Woo! We got the Spanish English dictionary. Adventures in America. Language. Beginning French. A little kind of religious, who knows, conversations in French, manual, common usage, dictionary French. Look at this little basket, anything inside here? No. Nicely woven. Romans without larvals. <clears throat> All kind of books, papers. Take a look at some of these papers here. Columbia Spectator. Remember we found that thing in Columbia before? 1968. This is all the newspapers. Walk with me. It's interesting. Huh. Weird. That's a, oh, look at this. That's an 
old Domino set. Oh yeah, this is this is worth money right here. It's so old. Look at the paint is coming out, Shane. Look how good a condition those are. It's got the dragon on the back here. This is an old Domino set. And once again, look them up, ladies and gentlemen. Money. Things you don't think are worth money. This is some kind of candle, I guess, in here. So who knows? I mean, there's lots of paper in here. Tons of newspapers. Magazines. Birthday cards. You have to check all those, see if there's any money in there, huh, Shane? Usually no luck. And there is... Ties, 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 ties. Holy smoke. That's a lot of ties. We're gonna have to check out this poster in a minute. Let's see if there's any other treasure hidden in here. I mean, there's tons of paperwork. Columbia University, 63 to 64. So obviously they went there. There's some postcards down here. Praying mantis, it looks like. Paper, paper. Just tons of paper. I have to go through all this paper, birthday cards, and I don't know. I mean, we found Elvis stuff before, so these some postcards in here. Wow. Unbelievable. So, some cool boxes, some cool stuff. Lots to go through. Who knows what else we're going to find? We got so much more to go through. But that Mong Zhong set, psh, money, money, money. So I love my job. I never know what I'm going to find. And you never know what you're going to see. Keep watching. I forgot. I said I was going to check out this poster. So let's see what it is. Huh. Interesting. No way. Oh. That is an awesome poster. What does it say up here? It says something. Keep your head. Drink me. And right here it says White Rabbit Alice in Wonderland. This might have been, what does it say right here? Printed by the Orbit Graphics Art Company. Totem Studios. Huh. Pretty cool, though. Vintage goodness right there. Reminds me of the uh, one, uh, what was that, Jefferson Starship one? Or something or whatever. We'll just keep moving along here. Shane's looking at me like I have three eyes. I have four, Shane. Four eyes. Four! What? Notebook. Green paper, Shane. Looks like it might just be an office. A little squirrel. I think this might just be an office lot, but you don't know. We gotta look through it real quick because we've had surprises and other lots where I would have just assumed. Could be a diamond ring in here. What's this? Permanent markers. I don't feel like permanent markers. That's pretty. Something's in here, Shane. I'm afraid to open it. Paper clips. Even better. Way better. <laughs> what the heck is this? Scotch whiskey, golf ball miniature, and it's still in there, Shane. It ain't that cold yet. I ain't drinking no Scotch whiskey. Ugh. Oh, it's brand new. Here's the paper. So I'm just gonna say it looks like office supplies, but I'm gonna have to go keep going. I see a lockdown. Oh, what is this? What is that, Shane? Calculators, pens. You never know. It could have a cash box or something. You, you got to look. And that looks like about it. So. Oh, yeah. I remember we found this book. So I wanted to take a look at this. Look at some of these old pictures in here. Oh. Get it with a rocking horse. That looks like it's a whole. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's pretty cool. With a Boy Scout uniform. <clears throat> the 
dog. So, <clears throat> looks like we got some more old pictures. Ballerina. The Christmas. Very cool. And then, look at what we found. Shane found this in the bottom of the last box. Louis Vuitton. Knowing these people, it's probably real. Let's see what we got inside. We got checks. Oh, look at Shane. We got some money. Money. Uno. Dos. Quadro. Cinco. Seis. Un. Du. Trois. Quatre. Cinq. Six. So let's see what year we got in here. 1995. It's probably when they put them in here. Let's see. I always like to see 95, 95, 95. So my guess is they probably put them in here in 1995 or so. We got a, a Louis Vuitton checkbook holder. And, I mean, they were doctors. I'm assuming it's real. and That's got to be money, money. What do you think, Shane? You think I'm nuts? Not funny. Shane, don't be laughing at my bad jokes, man. Don't be laughing at my bad jokes. Ooh, what's that? Wish something like this sterling silver would be nice, but no. But once again, everything's crazy wrapped up. See, this is so wrapped up, it's like I might have to get some scissors to open this up. Oh, look at that, Shane. You know what that is? The food dog? That's correct, the food dog. But you know, food dogs don't like to be by themselves, Shane. That's why we got food dog number two. Man, remember our last food dogs? Well, they sell for like three, four hundred dollars. Four hundred bucks, yeah. Look, okay, here's more of that. Forty-eight dollars, Shane. Oh my gosh, how do we get more of this stuff? There's a bunch in here. Twenty-eight dollars on that. Wedding couple, ten bucks. Oh, there's a name on there. Nineteen forty-nine. It says. Maybe that's who got married. This is a hundred bucks. <clears throat> Maybe a thousand dollars, Shane. We got a bunch of placemats in here. Oh, there, Shane. Looks like a mouse nest down there. <laughs> Hopefully, no mice. I don't see any. Maybe they were chewing on it. Well, at least they helped me open this one up. Kind of glass. Woo! Nothing too special. Big bowl. Another glass bowl. We did find some baccarat yesterday, so man, what the heck is this? Holy smoke! Got some towels in here wrapped up. What is this wrapping up? It's big. It's heavy. Whatever it is, Shane. Smoke. It's a lid. So it goes on top of a the cake or something. Keep it up. So what's in here? Oh no way. I see what it is now. Is it tragic or is it comedy? I'm assuming this is comedy. I could be wrong, Shane. It's been this is a first for everything. No, I'm joking. Shane knows I made a mistake before when I hired him. I'm joking, joking. Oh my gosh. This porcelain? Porcelain, hand painted. Oh my god. Great shape, too. And they're old. You can see here, it's tough to say. Like here, you see all that? It's, in a, it's called crazing. Wow, some cool mass, though. So, once again, we got food dogs, more of these statues that are worth money, glass, and who knows what else we're gonna find. Even a golf ball full of scotch. Man, we got so much more to go through. <clears throat> I 
see what else we'll find. Maybe we'll go through another box or two today. Let's go through a few more things. First, I saw this. Oh, this awesome whack whacker jewelry box. It's got like these cool figures on there that almost look like a mother of pearl or jade. All different. It looks like some kind of stone maybe they're carved out of. It's very ornate. Let's see if anything's inside. Oh, come on. I've had some of these before. There's actually a lock that goes between here and here. Oh. Same. Come on. Oh, empty. Oh, oh. A couple backers. There was jewelry in here at one point. Oh. Now we gotta see if anything fell down there. No luck. Anything in here. You never know a ring can get sometimes stuck in here. No luck. So the jewelry box alone though is a cool box. Definitely would bring some good money at auction. And uh, I mean it's nice. It's very good. I has a couple little condition issues, but very ornate and old. Let's take a look. How about this coat? Oh, whoa, stuck in there. Broken up on her. Oh! Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. More vintage toys. Who knows what's all in here? Right there. Oh, man. That looks like a stife. These people love the stifed animals. It's got the tusk still. You can feel its mole here. Just so well made. These are all stuff, I can just tell. But I don't see any, a lot of times they'll have a button in the air, but just how they're made. And we found other stuff that, same size, same look. That's two. Oh, man. Oh, look at this one. I don't know if that's a stuff, though. Yeah, it does feel like mold here. Extremely well done. See how it articulates like that? This box is just loaded, loaded. Another old little dog. Hey, puppy. You look sad. sad. Oh, no way. No way. Look at this. <laughs> That's Bullwinkle. I wonder if Rocky's in there, the squirrel. Man, that is vintage goodness right there. Look at it. Here's the date. 1961 Terry Tunes. Wow. I never seen one like that before. That always gets me excited when you see stuff you've never seen before. Whew. Look at a skunk. And these gotta be stife. And I mean, oh my gosh. This thing is loaded. The zebra. And, oh my gosh, a llama. And if you look up Stife, S-T-E-I-F-F, -F, I believe. German toys, take a look. They range anywhere from value of $40, $50 a piece to hundreds, some even thousands of dollars. They're most famous for their teddy bears, but their other animals, oh, right here, look, look. There's the tag. That's the tag you're looking for. And you can see this little paper tag. Stife, this guy's name is Maki. Look him up. But other than that, without that tag, besides knowing the feel and how, how they're made, it's made of mole hair. It has a different feel to it. Very fuzzy. You wouldn't know. And all these, I mean, you could tell, very similar look, design. But that one has the tag. The paper tag falls out. Oh, look at right here. Coco. Another Stife. So, I mean, it's adding up one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven, maybe eight stifes already, plus Bullwinkle. Wow, wow, wow. But there's so many stuffed animals. We'll go through a few more and we'll probably have to finish this the next episode because there's, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I could just, I'm just looking right here. Look at this. Now, is this Bambi? 
I mean, it looks Bambi. And is that a Stife Bambi? I'll have to look it up. I mean, that's what it feels like. It kind of looks like Bambi. Did they did a crossover. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, look at the shell. It's so weird. That is so cool how they did the turtle with the shell like that. I never, oh. I mean, I gotta look these up. Like I said, some of these could be big, big money. Some could be... And it just keeps saying, I'll pull out a couple more. It just keeps going and going. Look at this little dude. He's definitely not a stife. But it's an old little beaver. Look at the camel. And see, a lot of this just has fuzz stuck to it. This ain't, you know, this has some dirt on this side, but a lot of this is just fuzz, green fuzz stuck to it. You know, but the, all the ones we found so far, this one might be in the worst shape. And that's good, good sign. Because we know we got money, money. Oh, look at this thing. The Stife Tiger. Look at right there. There it is. Original Stife. That little tiny tag. It's amazing it's still there. A lot of times they'll have a button in their air, but it seems like these, when they made these stuffed animals, they didn't put buttons in many of their airs. Or they did, the person pulled them out. I'm not too familiar with them. I gotta look up more of these. But just keeps going. The seal. And we're gonna have a whole zoo here, Shane. So keep watching. Who knows what else we're gonna find? We gotta keep going through this tote, but there's so much to go through. I don't wanna waste all your time today. I know you guys already watched the whole video. I appreciate everybody out there watching. Check out our past videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. The best thing, you can actually buy these things. All these things will be going up for auction probably in January, if not. The rest will be going in February, but definitely some in January. We're going to try to get it all in January, but we'll see what we can do. Appreciate everybody out there watching. Who knows what else we're going to find. Next episode, we'll keep going through this tote and look at all the other vintage stuffed animals we have to find.